Now the first question of uh, QA section of mock cap 13 is very easy, a question which is uh, based on the concept of ratios and proportions. Now this question says that if the water flows at 30 meter per second, uh, when the diameter, that means like if you look at the cross section, so the diameter of the cross section is 16 and uh, this uh, can completely fill the volume V in two hours. Now we'll have to find the volume of the tank that can be completely filled by the water flowing at a rate of 20 meter per second through a cylindrical pipe whose area of cross sections radius is 5 centimeter and the time given in uh, 3 hours. Okay. Now we can say that uh, the volume that will be filled will be directly proportional to the speed of water multiplied by the area of cross section. I'll just write area multiplied by the time that is given uh, for which the this uh, pipe is working. Okay, so volume is directly proportional to the speed multiplied by area multiplied by the time. So I can write a relation that V1 upon V2 is equal to S1 upon S2 where S1 and S2 are the speeds multiplied by A1 upon A2 multiplied by T1 upon T2. All right. Now the volume uh, that uh, is uh, that can be filled in the first case is given as V and we'll have to find out the value of V2 in terms of V. All right. The options are given like this. Now S1 upon S2, the speed 1 is 30, the second speed is 20. So their ratio is 3 upon 2. Area of cross section. In the first case, the diameter is given as 16 and in the second case, the radius is given as 5. So if I convert both of them in terms of radius, so the radius of the first pipe will be 8 and the radius of second pipe is 5. Now area is basically proportional to the square of the radius. So I can say that the ratio of areas will be 8 square upon 5 square. That is 64 upon 25. And the ratio of time, let's write it. So first it was 2 hours, second it was 3 hours. So ratio of time is 2 upon 3. All right. Now 3 upon 2 and 2 upon 3 will get cancelled with each other. So V2 will come out to be 25 upon 64 times V. And that will be the correct answer for this question. Okay, so option C is uh, the correct answer for question number one. All right, let's move on to question number two. 